Hi, I'm Hussain Dillai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll see how we can use code first migrations to update the schema of the database. So to start with, I'm going to create a new project and this project is going to be a web project, ASP.NET project. Let's call it code first migrations. I'm going to choose a web API project, click OK. Once the project is created, I'm going to add a new model in the models folder. Right click then click add new class. I will call it person. And the person class contains a property ID of type int and another property of type string that is called name so a person has an ID and a name now I click control shift B or build project to be able to add a new controller so click on the controllers folder, add new controller. And here we choose a web API 2 controller with actions using entity framework. Click add. This will bring this window. Here I'll have to choose the model. So I'll choose the model I created, which is person. And here I'm going to create a new data context. I can use the existing one that is created with the template of ASP.NET project or I can create a new one I'll call it people context click add then here I'll choose the name of the controller I let the default one people controller click add this is doing some magic magic word here magic work here so that creates for me an API controller that contains all the actions I need, all the crude operations from get to put, post, and delete. So, here, in order to be able to insert some data, I'm gonna just for brevity, I'm gonna add some data here. This is not a good, um, a good way to do it, but I'll do it just for demo. So, here, I'll access the DB context dot people and click add. I'm gonna create a new instance of person and I'll specify its name I'm gonna type my name then of course we'll have to save the changes to the database let's actually add another person new person with name equal Muhammad for example um, uh, of course here I'll have to add it separately now we are okay so and now I'm gonna run this project and I will need this reference API people in order to insert the data into our database so API slash people let's call this action so invoking the URL API slash people will insert the data into the database then we'll retrieve that data from uh, the DB context. And here we see the two persons, an array of two persons with the name Hussam and Muhammad. So now that we created, we inserted data into, an, into our database, I'm gonna go and command this out. Now, when I'm developing my project, I may need to add 
another property to my person class so I have a requirement for example to add a property of type string which is the sure name so now when I click F5 and run my project and I'm invoking the api.people I'll have an error that error is a result of adding this surname property into the person class and this surname should be added to the database but I already created the database so it cannot uh, add it unless we do so we do some uh, uh, some extra work so in order to add the sure name as a column into the person's table into our database we'll have to go to package manager console you find it under tools under nuget package manager then here package manager console click on it then We'll, add, we'll use some commands from the uh, entity framework package so let's call it add migrations so let's hit enter ah I'm sorry it's enable enable migrations and what enable migrations do it will look for the uh, all the DB context in my project here it finds two application DB context the default one created with the ISP.NET template and the, the people context which I created to host the uh, people's table so here it tells me to use to choose one of them and to enable migrations for people context or for application DB context so I'm gonna enable it for people context as I change it the uh, person model so to change it in people context I'll have to use enable migrations minus context type name code first migrations for people context so I'll just copy it control C then I'll paste it here and run it So here, what it does, it created a new folder called migrations. This folder contains two classes. One is the configuration class. And the configuration class contains a seed method. The seed method is going to be invoked and run it each time I make some changes to the model or to the schema of the database. And the second class created is the initial create that contains two methods up and down. What up does is gonna is gonna make the changes that I want to uh, uh, to make to my database. And down is gonna be invoked when I roll back the changes that I created. So here we see drop table and here of course it, it, it restores the first um, the first changes that I created so first of all I create the table people and to roll that down it's gonna drop that table So now let's hit enter. Let's hit F5, sorry. And let's come back to API dot slash people to see if now I can get the right data. But now I still have an error. And why is that? Because I'll have to run another command here. 
So the first command we run is enable migrations and we specify the uh, people context. Now I'll have to add a migration. As we saw here, it the mig migration that uh, it creates, it's it tells that I'm gonna create a new table, and this is the first the first change that I made to the database is creating the table. After I created the table with an ID and a name column, then I want to add a new column into the database. So. To do that, I'm gonna create a new migration to enable creating the sure name column in the, in the people database. So to do that, I run the add migration here in the console. And here it tells me to uh, specify a name for this migration. I'm gonna call it added sure name. So now it created a new migration for me and in this class added a sure name here it tells that the app method after uh, creating the migration is gonna invoke a method called add column add column it's gonna be applied to the people table and the column to be added is named sure name it's of type string then if I want to roll back this change then I'm gonna drop that column let's go and run it and of course go to API slash people mm. I still have an error here why because I created I added the migration but I didn't run it it I didn't run the app method yet to run the app method I need to go to the package manager console again and hit another command which is the update database So now what it does, it run the added sure name migration, which will add a sure name uh, column to my uh, database. So now let's run this project again and see if we, if now we get the right answer. So now we get a person object with an ID, name, and the username, username. Sorry, the sure name. And you see here the sure name is null because we didn't specify it any sure name for uh, these two uh, uh, entities. So now, We started with a person that contains only an ID and a name. We created the table for it and we added a short name column and we changed the database depending on, the, on adding this uh, short name column.